A pall of sadness. A day later and reality still setting in for colleagues of veteran broadcaster and politician, the Honorable Obi Bolshkom, whose sudden death shook many to the core. Cleopatra Murphy caught up with a few cabinet ministers on a day set to be particularly somber. Flags are being flown at half mass at the office of the Prime Minister, where Cabinet met on Tuesday for the first time, the first time since the passing of the Honorable Obi Wilchkin. And his Cabinet colleagues say his presence will definitely be missed. He left a, a very deep void in, in the party because he was like the heartbeat of the party, in, in my opinion. And he, he knows his politics and he is one is one person that doesn't um, beat around the bush. He tells you like it is, whether you like it or not. And so, um, for me personally, Minister of State for Aviation, the Honorable Basil McIntosh, says during his last conversation with the now deceased Minister of Social Services, Information and Broadcasting, Wilshkom invited him to visit his constituency, which he regrettably did not get to do. Minister of Youth Sports and Culture, the Honorable Mario Boleg, says he watched the coverage of Wilshkom's passing on Monday, but still finds it hard to accept the man he views as one of the greatest assets of the Davis administration is no longer there. He was one that was a mentor to many of us, uh, uh, taught us the way and the ropes on how we should conduct ourselves in the public and also uh, as relates to a politician and also the rules and regulation that governs the house. So I will definitely miss him, you know, because I called on him many times to ensure I did things right because he always would tell us, you know, as it relates to him being a former um, media person, that you know we must know how to uh, avoid certain questions, how to pivot, and he taught us a lot. Minister of Agriculture and Marine Resources, the Honorable Jomo Campbell's final conversation with Wilshkom came at ZNS's relaunch last Thursday. Wilshkom, whom he deemed as a perfectionist, spoke about just that rare quality he wanted fellow journalists and his parliamentary colleagues to strive for. When we were in the House of Assembly, he spoke to us over and over about the small things that make a really big difference. Being on time, being prepared, knowing the facts, knowing the issues, um, knowing the needs of your constituents, knowing the needs of your ministry. So, you know, today is going to be a somber day, but in knowing the minister, um, we know that he would want us to press on to carry on with the business of the country as he did to his last minute. Much like at the office of the Prime Minister, a number of government buildings, including the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas and the Ministry of Social Services, flew national flags at half-mast, an acknowledgement that the life of a man who Campbell hails as a Bahamian hero has ended. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.